The road is not a pleasing sight to be old due to multiple potholes and breakage due to pressure resulting from heavy duty vehicles plying the road on daily basis for business transactions. The Apapa Oshodi Express Road, though full of daily business activities, has become a shadow of what it used to be years past. Following the governor's visit to the area last week, a follow-up inspection of the road was carried out to ascertain if the tankers have been cleared off the road, which has also been the source of traffic gridlock. The tankers were off the road, revealing the sorry sight and the dilapidation on the road. Governor Fashala says the situation of the road has revealed lack of management and neglect to a road that generates so much income for the country. The roads are gone. All the federal government roads have collapsed. And the infrastructure, as you said, is not there. So, and what one just wonders why suddenly everything seems to be falling apart under this government. Because we moved well before in this country, and it was, our papa wasn't like this. We ran this port and the Tinkan Island port, and our papa was not like this. Due to the effect of the road, business operators in the area decry the extent of suffering their workers and businesses so far. Every truck will have port operators, residents of Apapa are sitting on the cake of a gunpowder that can explode anytime. And to compound it all, the citations of the tank farm around Apapa is not that the major cause of this problem. Imagine. Only a papa is like we are putting all our eggs in one basket. Residents and road users in the area pleaded with the Lagos state government to continue with a quota of assistance while they wait on the federal government to fix the road. Omota Yoalo, Core TV News, Lagos.